Listen to this. And I'm only holding one key. Quite interesting, isn't it? You're probably now wondering, what was that? I'll tell you in a minute. I'm Bizzleless and welcome to my channel, which is all about music production, sound design, Ableton life, and all things related. Okay, I won't be needing these for a second. Now tell me, have you ever been stuck finding some decent and huge sounding samples for, let's say, your ambient track or the film score you're creating? Or even if you found these cool samples, how long did it take you to mix and, and fit all together and record it and track it? What if I tell you that I did this in like 30 seconds? Yeah, no more than this. The sample logic have released their new plugin called Ultrasphere. And I think that will make our lives much easier. So for the last couple of days, I had an opportunity to test this plugin and push it to the limits to find what's it all about. But just a little disclaimer, SampleLogic did reach out to me and they gave me the plugin to try and give them any feedback if I can. But this video is not sponsored by them, so I get to share my honest opinion about this plugin. And uh, that's how it should be anyway. Shouldn't it be like all the review videos shouldn't be sponsored? So that's how it's gonna be on my channel, always. Okay, so if you've been following my channel for some time now already, you probably know that I really love the synthesizers and I love to make the sounds and samples. I don't really use samples too much at all, but I got this plugin and I was thinking to myself, yeah, let's let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. I don't actually know what it is. So I've installed this plugin, I opened it, and what I saw is this. So first thing came to my mind, it's like a mixer of the samples, so I can use this little wheel to kind of mixed samples together well I'm not sure about this and then I just said to myself I'll give it like half an hour and see how it goes and shortly after I started creating really cool and huge and scary drone samples dark ones or not the dark ones it was actually so fast and so effortless and what's most important they all sound really unique and I had full control over what I'm doing with the samples without even checking the manual but don't tell anybody I only read manual afterwards okay now so this plugin comes with around 10 gigabytes of samples they are actually really cool and nicely categorized. And also I think it's around 180 presets. They're also nice categories. You can filter them really nicely and fast. So you can find something to start off with. And then you can, of course, customize everything uh, how much you like, basically. The possibilities are basically endless, to be honest, which I was actually surprised that it comes at such ease. But anyway, so there were some things that I would rather like to change but we'll talk about them at the end of the video. But now let's actually move on. Let's let's see how, how it goes, how it works, and what does it do. So let's jump into the Ultrasphere and uh, I'll tell you a little bit about it. So basically, if we start the plugin, it looks just like this. So we have the sound. And what do we see here? It's actually basically four different sources. One, two, three, four. And you can mix the sound coming out of them with this little dial here. Not very little after all, actually. Okay, that's cool. So you can choose four different samples. You have some controls like volume, panning, pitch, transpose, and sample start. So you can start it from the beginning or from the middle, or or you can even reverse the sample. Actually, I got quite cool. And then same with the second sample. Cool. Some simple. Well, what can we do else with it? So you can, let's say, choose only two or three chords. You can mute them and solo them. So let's solo the first one and let's work on that a little bit more. I like it, but it starts very abrupt. So if we click on this core one here, we go into the deep level modification. So what we have here is the envelope. So let's, let's play with the envelope. I need a longer attack, let's say around one second. Much better now. We can filter some high frequencies with this filter here. But we can actually move it, so let's use filter envelope here. That's that's cool. Okay, maybe that was too abrupt, so let's change it. Bring the sustain up. Okay. That's cool. Perfect. We can do that with all the samples as well. We can add some attack to all of them. That 
that starts to sound really cool. And which one was it? So that was number three. Let's see number three. Let's also start a little bit more delicate, like a pad or drone. And let's add a little tremolo to it. So let's hear only the source number three. That's cool. So the tremolo is now uh, controlled by LFO number one. Where are the LFOs? Let's find them. So we go to mods here and we have all the LFOs and uh, key modifications and velo velocity modifications. So which one is it? LFO one. So how does it look like? If we double click, we have full control over the LFO number one and each one of them in that matters have sign, other types of the LFO. Okay, let's leave it on sign. We have the speed, we can desynchronize it. So go really slow, but actually that was cool if, if that was synced. Okay. Fade in. Doesn't need to fade in. Okay. That's cool. So we have this core tree actually almost done. Let's see if core number four as it is at the moment. But let's say, yeah, all good. I'm playing some sounds. And I need to move this little dial by myself or what? So I need to use mouse or... No, you can press this little play and it will go round and round in circles. Mixing the sounds for you. We see the little highlights here. So the stronger the sound gets, it gets brighter here on the, on the screen. That's cool. I actually just noticed it now. <laughs> But now we can, of course, turn off the retrigger and you can change the, the, the path. It doesn't have to be circle. It can be square. Okay, but it doesn't play now. Now. Can be a cross, can be basic anything else. Star, loops. And what's most important, you can actually record your own. So let's do it now. Let's press record. And let's record some kind of path. Okay, that's cool. We can play it now. Super cool. Very good. Now, what about all the other options? So this is an equalizer. Now we have all the cores here. So number one, two, three, four, we can change. For example, if we don't like the core one to be very low in frequency, we can cut it off like that. Let's say number two. We don't want all this high shimmer and switch it off like that. Super cool. Number three. Oh, we don't like this, this thing here. Okay, that's cool. And number four has to be really deep. Let's, let's leave it like that. Super cool, super easy. If we click this here, we can humanize basically everything. So oscillator drift timbre, pitch, uh, unison, whatever you basically like. It's all here. And we also have the effects here. You can apply up to four effects. You can send each core separately to, to the effects, whichever you like and how many you like. Let's see core number four. We can send it to one, two, three, four. This also can be modified by LFO. So you can define how much of the signal you want to be sent to each of the effects. And we have the effects here like compressor, but you can choose loads of them, whatever you basically like. So let's go to bit crusher on the number one, core number four, let's solo it. We need to hear it a little bit more. Okay. What's the effect number two chorus? Yeah, let's add it. Zero delay, there it is. And we can do that with all the, all the effects and all the chorus. We also have the master effects, we can just Add wave half, EQ, tape delay. Very cool. Let's add tape delay. Lots of delays, as I see here. Very cool. Even like a lo fi plugin. Let's add it at the end here. Lo fi. Depth. Let's go down the depth. Super cool. You can do basically everything you like. And let's go back to the presets for a second. So we have the presets here. They're already pre-made. It's, as, as I said, it's around 180 presets here. And you can just 
filter them like that. So let's say we want a dark, scary, and uh, sequencer motion. That's only one. Let's try it. And yes, as you probably noticed, I skipped one tab here. It's called sequencer. Now, if you go to here, we see the sequencer running through with core one, core two, and core four. We can change the velocity. We can change the note length and pitch offset, maybe even. Let's listen to it now. This is super trippy. I like it. I'm just not doing anything. I'm just holding one key. Super cool. I don't know if, if that's not cool. I don't know what it is. And then about the samples, how do we change the sample? You can go to the core one, but we don't need to. We can just click on the name here. And that's as the same as in terms of the preset, we have some uh, tags. So we can tag it by instrumental, lights, orchestral, maybe not. Let's see how, how that is now. It started somewhere there. That's super loud. Okay, let's apply some kind of uh, rhythmical stuff to it. So we're going to go to the filter and let's change the LFO to like LFO number six. And what is the LFO number six? Let's see now. LFO number six, that's the that's trippy one. I like. That's cool. Super simple. I can do this for days, basically. Okay, but it's not all super sweet. I have some things that I probably would like to see changed in this plugin. So first thing, what I would really love to see, and I think that would add a lot to the plugin, would be a granulator. Imagine if you could also granulate all these cores or these samples. That would be awesome. I don't think I need to explain what that would do. Second thing I would really like added to the plugin would be some kind of synthesizer, like analog synthesizer, let's say like Drift or maybe something simpler than Drift. And just to be able to create some kind of sine wave, not necessarily uh, use all the samples that are inside, but that's only me. I like synthesizing stuff and making stuff. Also one thing that I would probably love to see if you can drag in our own samples. So the plugin comes with around what is it, 1500 samples, something like that, 10 gigabytes of samples in general. So that's quite a lot, that's a lot. You won't go through them in, in, in any time soon. But if we could add our own samples, that'd be also really cool. Plus granulate them, plus add the samples later. Okay, maybe I'm dreaming too much, but that'd be cool. So I'll leave the link to the plugin in the description box down below, and I think you should check it. It's really cool. But let's say, for example, you want to create your own sample, like from scratch, you want to synthesize it, you want to make like a drone sound, I don't know, cinematic, scary, resonating. I got your covers. Just watch this video next and you'll learn how to make it. Super simple. Anyway, okay. So thanks so much for watching. See you guys next video. Cheers.